Oh, Minnie. Oh, Minnie. Are you going to get up so Mommy can film a video? Are you? Do a little one thing. Make room for Mummy. No room for Mummy. Little baby cat. Here she is. There you go. Goodbye. Bye. Hello and welcome to another booktube video from me, Lauren, from Lauren and the Books. And today I'm bringing you a book haul of a lot, a lot of books. Two, four, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve books which I've accumulated. I've bought them myself, I've been gifted them, I've been sent them by the publisher and I'm very much looking forward to going through them. However, I cannot um, make another video without acknowledging that there is some seriously bad shit going on in the world at the moment. Um... We, this, I'm filming this on the Sunday, um, Sunday morning, and uh, last night, um, David and I watched in horror as the, um, as the attacks in London um, unfolded on the news before us, and I, I don't, I don't want to go on about it too much, but I want to acknowledge that it's happened and say how awfully sad and, um, just disgusted I feel about the whole situation but I want it to be known that for me this is a place of escape um, I hope it is for you guys too and although I'm aware these things are happening um, I will continue to make fun hopefully uh, videos um, just as a moment of um, escape for anyone who's um, who's feeling sad or frightened or anything because that's what this is for me too so um, with that in mind let's have a look at these 12 books I've got here, shall we? So the first one I've already shown on my Harry Potter Cozy Reading Night um, uh, announcement video. Um, this is the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone um, house edition. Um, I've got a Gryffindor house one, because I'm in Gryffindor. Um, it is one of the most beautifully published things I've ever seen. So these are what it looks like. They've all got the black dust jackets with the different colour um, shield and font. And then underneath it is black and then my spine is also in red. Um, and then the um, the pages are coloured so that this is red and then this is red and yellow. And then inside, although it is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, they've got loads of information at the beginning about Gryffindor. So they've got in here like Gryffindor an introduction, making Gryffindors proud, house founder Godfr Godric Gryffindor, etc. Um, and then there's a little bit at the back about 20 years of... Um, 20 years of magic and a few more bits at the back. So I assume... That, oh, it's got nearly headless Nick on the back as well. I didn't see that. I assume that all um, editions, I'm pretty sure all editions will have um, different information about the houses in there. So although I was like, oh, I only need this one. Now I feel like, well, I want to have all of them. Um, but I absolutely love this. And thank you so much to the people at Books My Bag for sending me this because it's delicious. Mwah. The next two are books, the next three are books that I've bought myself. Um, the first one is Mad Girl, A Happy Life with a Mixed Up Mind by Bryony Gordon. Um, I am reading this in my book club at work. Bryony Gordon um, is uh, runs a, um, a podcast um, which famously, um, a couple of months ago, had Prince um, Harry on it, talking about his um, his journey with mental health. Uh, Bryony Gordon's got OCD and this is a book about, this is a memoir and a book about her dealing with OCD um, and yeah I'm looking forward to discussing this um, at book club at work uh, we don't often discuss non-fiction so I think this will be really interesting and I also think that I have suffered with mental health problems in the past and I feel like probably I've got some OCD going in there so it'll be interesting to read that as well so yeah I bought that and then as that was I bought that in the supermarket sadly but I was in there and I knew I needed it so I picked it up and they were two for seven pounds so that with the um with the other half of that I got The Circle by Dave Eggers this has recently been made into a film with um Emma Watson <laughs> I almost said Hermione Watson then Emma Watson Karen Gillan and somebody else but I can't maybe Tom Hanks maybe Tom Hanks but this is about um uh, I will read what it is about because I don't know if I'm going to be able to... Are you coming back up, Monty? Are you coming back up, Mimi? Come on, then. Come on. No, she's not. The circle runs everything, all your internet activity, in one easy, safe and visible place. No wonder it is now the world's most powerful and influential company. So when May Holland lands a job at the glittering California campus, she knows she's made it. But the more her ideals and ambitions become aligned with those of the circle, the closer she comes to discovering a sinister truth at the heart of an organisation seeking to remake the world in its image. So yeah, I feel, um, I feel like this is going to be pretty good. So I've, I've, I've heard about that 
before it got even made into a film and I thought it sounded interesting to me then so I will um, I will get around to reading that. The next one I bought in a charity shop in um, Tunbridge Wells. My sister and I went there to um, get her wedding dress fitted which was lovely. They've got a lovely Oxfam bookshop there um, and this is Bonjour Tristesse by Francois Sagan. This is one of the Great Loves Penguins edition and I've just seen on the back they do loads of them and if they're all as beautiful as this, I mean that front cover, look at it, all those blue and love, blue and white beautiful flowers um i've seen i've seen i think there was on booktube if you know <laughs> on booktube um i believe a lot of booktubers received bonjour tristesse where uh, from penguin when they um when they had it come out as a penguin modern classic um so i know it's translated from the french and i can't see what the actual bump says because it's got a sticker over it i can tell you it says here cecile leads a hedonistic frivolous da -da 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 -da, and his young mistresses on da -da 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 -da, France, she is seduced by the son, da -da 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 -da, lover. But when her father decides to remarry, their carefree existence becomes clouded by tragedy. So that's because that sticker's on there. But yeah, it's, I'd, I'd heard wonderful things and yeah, I feel like I'm looking forward to that. The next books are ones that have been sent to me by publishers and also by Mercedes and Simon. So let's have a look. So the first two are from Fourth Estate. Um, the lovely people at Fourth Estate contacted me and asked me if I would be interested in a book called The Party by Elizabeth Day. Um, it says here on the back, being around people like that, wealthy, privileged, beautiful, selfish people is not good for the soul. They're careless with the rest of us. We're swept into the golden currents as weak swimmers overcome by a shining tide. We want to be them while hating them, while hating them for being it. So I believe this is about um, friendship and it says here, well, I can tell you more about it. Martin Gilmore is an outsider. When he wins a scholarship to Burtonbury School, he doesn't wear the right clothes or speak with the right kind of accent. But then he meets the dazzling, popular and wealthy Ben Fitzmorris and gains admission to an exclusive world. Soon Martin is enjoying tennis parties and Easter egg hunts at the Fitzmorris family estate as Ben becomes the brother he never had. Hmm. So, and then it's talking about they're at Ben's 40th birthday party now. So yeah, it sounds like it's going to be interesting. And then she also said that uh, the, the, the kind lady at um, Tara at Fourth Estate said, I will also send you my favourite book of the year, which was Standard Deviation by Catherine Heine, which I've heard nothing about. So um, it says here, Graham Kavanagh's se second wife, Audra, is everything his first wife was not. She considers herself privileged to live in the age of the hair towel, talks non-stop through her epidural, labour and delivery, invites the doorman to move in and the eccentric members of their son's origami club, origami club to thank Thanksgiving. She is charming and spontaneous and fun, but life with her can be exhausting. So yeah, that sounds interesting too, but mm, very kind of her to send me this also. It's got um, a quote on the back from Kate Atkinson as well. And I love Kate Atkinson. The next one is um, a, a um, book that uh, Simon got the uh, publisher to send to me because he said that I would love it. And it is a Tin Man by Sarah Winman. Look at this proof. It's lovely. It's so bright yellow. I love a yellow. I love a yellow. Um, so let's have a look what it says here that this is about. The front cover is going to look a bit like this. She, um, Sarah Women wrote When God Was a Rabbit, which I've read before. It begins with a painting, one in a raffle, 15 sunflowers hung on the wall by a woman who believes that men and boys are capable of beautiful things. And there are two boys, Ellis and Michael, who are inseparable, and the boys become men, and then Annie walks into their lives and it changes nothing and everything. So yeah, it sounds like it's going to be really interesting. It's only a short little guy as well. It's like just under 200 pages. Um, so yeah, bright, bright yellow for the sunshine. Uh, the next one is two that Mercedes has kindly sent me. Um, so I believe Mercedes had two copies of... Oh, look, there you go. Little, little love note from Mercedes on the front there. Uh, Mercedes had two copies of Flesh of the Peach by Helen McCrory. Um, and this is a novel about a, um, a girl travelling across New Mexico. Um, she travels by Greyhound to her ca mother's cabin in New Mexico. It's published by Freight, who are... A, um, who are a um, publisher that I absolutely love. And I often say this, and I'm yet to read a bad book that Freight have published. Um, so yeah, it sounds like a good sort of coming of age journey book across America. And then she also sent me The Dark Circle by Linda Grant. Um, this has been long list, uh, shortlisted sorry, for the Bailey's Women Prize for Fiction. And it's set in 1949 um, when the Second World War's over. And it follows a um, brother and sister who have been diagnosed with tuberculosis and they're sent to a sanatorium in Kent. Um, this is, I live in Kent, um, and this has been going around um, on Booktube quite a lot and it has, um, it's to do with the beginnings of the NHS and I work with the NHS. So um, I feel like it's ticking uh, two boxes there. I live in Kent and I work for the NHS um, and um, yeah, interested in reading that. Really interested in reading that actually. Might read that next month. 
Then I've got another two books sent to me by the publisher. They were sent to me separately, actually, but they're both from Faber, so let's do that. Um, I first of all got The Park Bench by Shabute, which is a silent graphic novel about a park bench. Um, a silent graphic novel is a graphic novel that has no um, words in it. Um, and I feel like this is going to be... Oh, and I've got some balloons in there as well because they kindly sent me some balloons. Um, I feel like this is going to be the sort of thing that I might go and sit on a park bench and just enjoy it in one sitting because um, graphic novels don't take me very long at all anyway. And a graphic novel with no words, I imagine, will take me even, even less long. Um, so looking forward to that. And then they also sent me Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. Um, I've mentioned this in my um, TBR for this month. I'm going to be reading this. Um, it really, it really um, got me here by saying you can read Conversations with Friends as a romantic comedy or you can read it as a feminist text. You can read it as a book about infidelity, about the pleasures and difficulties of intimacy or about how our minds think about our bodies. However you choose to read it, it's an unforgettable novel about the possibility of love. And I'm told it's about friendship and I've got some stickers. And yeah, so um, that is on my TBR for this month and hopefully I'll be getting around to that soon. And then the last book I, um, I have here is a wonderful book that Simon, from Savage Reads bought me when he came to stay with me um, in April, I think, if I can cast my mind back that far. It is The Tidal Zone by Sarah Moss. Now, as you may know, The Tidal Zone by Sarah Moss was one of my favourite books of last year. I think it might even have been my second favourite book of last year. Um, and I didn't own a copy. I... I borrowed a copy from the library when I first read it. I bought it for my sister. I bought it for another friend and I didn't actually have a copy. And Simon was kind enough when he vis visited the welcome to get me a copy and better than everything, it's signed. Um, so that was very, very kind of him. And um, this will be going up on my a shelf that I've created here which I've got my favourites my five star books on that I just can't stop thinking about so that will be going up there and I still love this this is a different um, paperback to the paperback that I read that was a bigger paperback and I still love this um, this painting this is a painting not a picture um, on the front of the cover so absolutely love that if you haven't read this you need to hurry up and read it. So those are the books that I've recently hauled over the past few months. Have any of you guys read any of these guys? Have any of you guys read any of these guys? Um, I would love to hear from you and I'll see you all again for another Rick 2 video. Goodbye!